We are very excited about Lawrence Fishburne's one-man show like they do in the movies, and we've come down to the Perlman Performing Arts Center to talk with the man himself. So the premise for the story is lies and stories that you've been told and that you told yourself. What made lies a good foundation to write this piece? So do you know what the world's second oldest profession is? Tell me. They say it's being a professional liar. Oh. It's one of the ways that they use to describe at what we do as actors. So that's where lies and stories that I've told myself come from. And you started writing this 20 years ago, mm -hmm. picked it back up during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. What was the catalyst to start it back then? And obviously you had a lot of material come about in between. I had a friend of mine suggest that I write a one-man show or do a one-man show. And I was very reluctant as an actor to do that. But the writer in me actually started writing without my knowledge. This was probably in like 2000. And then by 2005, I had written some of it out and I shared it with the late, great Mike Nichols. And then I put it away for a while. What is something that you can tell us <clears throat> about Lawrence in this show that he would never tell us? I will say that um, he reveals himself in a very personal way and I think it will be an extremely surprising way to the audience. It was shocked to me when I read some of it. Really? And I knew him. Wow. I thought, wow. What a teaser. <laughs> I actually had to say to him, you sure you want to do this? And he went, yep. How are you feeling right now? The show is going to start soon. I mean, you're a pro. Do you still get nervous? Yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's just you up there. It, it's <laughs> Not just, to rub it in. <laughs> it's just me and, uh, and all the people that are going to be paying to see me. Yeah. No pressure. None at all. <laughs> what do you hope that people take away? It's not about what I hope. It's not about what I want people to take away. It's about people taking away whatever it is that they can use and whatever they can, whatever benefits them. It's not, it's, you know, it's, it's not about what I want. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed enough to stand up and perform in front of people. I got what I want. The thing is, do, do, does the audience get something that is helpful or can be of service to them? Well, if the audience gets tickets, they are getting lucky. We are so, so excited for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.